Hello, my name's Siobhan Grafton and I'm the CFO for TNS. I'm really pleased and honoured to be included as one of the 100 global inspirational women in mining. I was telling a friend and they said to me, it's great that gender diversity isn't an issue anymore. You're female and a senior leader, so it just shows it's not a thing. And I just thought, wow, wow, where do I even start with that? So if a senior woman speaks up for diversity, it doesn't resonate because they're senior and therefore by implication, it's not an issue. By being successful, we're making it harder for females in business as we are inadvertently disproving the diversity challenge. And since when was diversity a thing? It just reminded me how much we still have to do in relation to the awareness of what gender diversity is all about. It's not that females can't get to senior positions, it's that it's difficult and it requires a lot of resilience and courage and skills that are not always taught to females growing up and dealing with preconceptions of female abilities. Don't be misled into thinking that gender diversity is all only about equality at the board level. It's a huge part of it, but that's the tip of the iceberg. The point being that to get equality at board level, you have to drive equality at every level in the business. One individual becoming a female senior leader does not mean we no longer have a gender diversity problem in the workplace. A handful of people climbing Everest doesn't mean it's accessible to everybody. So who's going to keep raising the awareness around the diversity challenge, whether it's gender or otherwise? You. It'll be you. Regardless of your gender, your race, your ethnicity, your culture, your background, your sexual orientation, it's going to be you. It can only be you. What makes me particularly proud about receiving this nomination is that I don't think I'm particularly special. I read about some women in lead leadership positions and I am in so much awe of them. They speak four or five languages, they have two degrees and a master's, they set up their own companies or charitable donations, they've flown across the channel while raising 16 children. Okay, so I'm obviously exaggerating, but that's not me. I have a degree, yes, and I'm a fellow chartered accountant, I'm a mum and I have three boys. But I don't have my camera on the first on on the first Zoom call of the day because I'm still taking off the mascara from last night that's run down my face, or I'm drying my hair. On my lunch break, I'm running downstairs to tidy up the breakfast dishes and put the washing on. I'm no dif different to the majority of females in business. But I strongly believe that every female has a bit of superstar in them. And it's our role as leaders to make sure that no matter what level that female is at, that that star shines. I'm proud to be in the mining industry and I'm proud to work for Anglo-American. You know, what we're trying to achieve as a company and our purpose to reimagine mining to improve people's lives is not a white, male, heterosexual, able-bodied vision. It's a purpose that we can all get behind. And what is more important, what is actually critical, is that without diversity, without those stars shining brightly, we're not going to be successful. So I'm very honoured in receiving this nomination, not because of my specific achievements, but because of what I believe in, what I stand for, and therefore what this nomination represents.